I think, and this is our experience from the past 12 months since we are actively uh, involved here, is that people more and more understand the dependencies of operating system applications and, uh, and, and technologies. And what Citrix is actually doing, especially when it comes to migration scenarios, that it needs more than just another migration and another technology shift. People understand how important a cloud approach or a VDI approach with Citrix is. And to answer your question, absolutely. People are more and more aware how important the, the how important it is to have answers to that question. So we are very active in the, in the in the banking sector, right? Where where the centralization of resources in general, a virtual desktop is one of many resources actually that that uh, that companies want to deliver we see that the centralization approach to run more cost efficient environments is of course the number one reason but parallel to that and that's exactly something you can pretty much see in the banking sector that security which means authentication is extremely important because if you see citrix enables to virtually access from any device over any connection anywhere which is flexible and good in the first place but if you talk to security people and customers, then they see that also as a kind of concern to say, how can we secure this kind of ubiquitous access? And Citrix has the answers for that as we are enabling any kind of strong authentication for our system. The number one priority at Citrix is user experience. That means in a perfect world when you switch from a client-server environment, which nobody really wants to have anymore as it's extremely cost intensive to run and operate is to make the switch from a client server environment into a centralized environment with Citrix so smooth that the user doesn't even notice that his desktop, his applications are now residing in a cloud, in a private cloud, in a centralized environment. So uh, yes, we are talking mainly to, to those people at the customers who are in charge of the entire IT uh, environment and the strategy. And uh, of course, also to outsourcers and cloud providers means they, those ones who are using Citrix technology to, uh, uh, to actually serve their own customers by providing services like desktops and apps. That we are the most open technology provider in the market, which means we are not locking customers down. Regardless if you look at on the client side, where Citrix is virtually supporting billions of devices, more than 150 smart devices, that means not only the usual iPads of the world like Apple devices, but also Blackberry, Symbian-based devices, almost anything. That means on one side, Citrix is giving maximum freedom to customers to virtually use any kind of client device they want without any compromise. But, and that's even more important, and this is only Citrix doing that, in the back end, we leave the choice to the hosting infrastructure to the customer. Means our solutions run on the Citrix Zen server, but they also do run on VMware and Microsoft platforms. And this is a freedom, a kind of freedom that Citrix gives to customers to let him make the choice and even switch if he wants, whenever he wants. Than that, we yeah. deliver applications, absolutely. Virtualized applications, applications on a terminal server, still one of the most cost-efficient ways to deliver an application, and as part of a virtual desktop with our VDI technologies, Xen Desktop, absolutely. Yeah. But um, to be very honest, the desktop is something we at Citrix consider as a vehicle to deliver an application, mm -hmm. because I'm quite sure you agree with me, at the end of the day, people are not working with desktops, they are working with applications yeah. to do their yeah. jobs. And this is also something um, <coughs> where many customers are not aware of, 2014 is a very special year in IT because Microsoft announced its end of support for Windows XP. And the, the biggest or the, the toughest challenge in a Windows migration is are not licensing or hardware. What most people are not aware or are slowly getting into it is that they are realizing we have to test all of our application that we have under Windows XP and have to make sure that they also run under Windows 7 and beyond. And if you look at customers that are having not just 10, 15 or 20 apps, but let's say several hundred apps,
Citrix is having technologies to automate the process of application virtualization. So in a, in a, in a, in a nutshell, what we are making and doing at Citrix is we are virtualizing application to abolish the dependencies between apps and operating systems.